Hello and welcome back to Shape Math. Today we're going to be looking at congruent shapes and we're going to be able to identify if uh, sh two different shapes are the same. So what do we know about congruent figures? Well we have these two triangles right here and they appear to be uh, congruent, they appear to be the same, but we can never trust our eyes. They could be just a tiny bit longer on one edge and so in order for us to know for sure that they're congruent. First off, we have to have congruent corresponding sides. The sides that match each other have to be the same length. And we put the tick marks there to, uh, to tell us. They also have to have the congruent angles in the corresponding parts. Okay, so they have to have all the same angles and all the same parts in order to prove that they are congruent. Now let's explore a couple of shapes. So here we have two triangles and one looks like it got rotated around and from just looking at it it looks like they're pretty close to each other. But let's say that we were given this information right here. Would we be able to determine for sure if they were congruent? Well, if you look at the angles inside 52, 39, and 89, we have 52, 89, and 39. Okay, that's a good start. Looking at the sides, 5, 9, and 7, 5, 9, and 7. And so we have three matches and three matches, and so these are congruent. But I want you to look at one thing. This is something that really helps me when I'm trying to determine congruency and finding missing parts. I want you to look right here. This is what I call an angle side partnership. If you look at the 52 and the 89 right there and the 5 which is the side that goes between them, they have a relationship, right? If you look at the other triangle at this side, the 89 and 52 with a 5 in between it. This is something that's going to be very valuable for you to uh, look at because you're going to be able to see is that 5 side between the same two uh, angles. And so I always um, recommend to my students to, uh, to get familiar with that particular aspect. Now if we were to say that triangle GHI was congruent to the other triangle, we would have to put the triangle into the exact same corresponding order. And so GHI, I always look at the, the degrees and it goes from 52 to 89 to 39. So then on my right side, I look at 52, 89, and 39, and that goes DEF. So this is the proper way to do it. If you have those letters in any other order, it's incorrect. Now let's take a look at these two figures right here. Now we only have the sides, but just looking at the sides, do you see, are they, are they pretty much the same? Uh, are they identical? Do they have uh, congruent corresponding sides? Well, at first glance, they appear to be, they look the same as far as these shapes are concerned. But if you notice this side and this side, um, these are different. And any time you find a difference in a corresponding side if they're different numbers it's absolutely a no and that goes the same for the angles as well if it doesn't match it is a no. now here we have uh, what appears to be two rectangles because of the squares and the corners they have 90 degree angles and so on the right side we have um, all four sides, 6, 14, 6, and 14, but on the left we only have 6 and 14. Is this enough to um, prove that they're congruent? Well, actually it is, because rectangles have congruent opposite sides. This is something that we learned um, a long time ago, and so 6 and 14, the opposite of those is going to be 6 and 14, because it's a rectangle. And so we can say that, yes, they are congruent. Now let's take a look at this one. Now when you're looking at two 
figures and you're trying to figure out are these the same okay there's a lot of different stuff in here i usually start with the sides and so 8 16 10 and 9 um, and i look and we've got an 8 a 16 a 10 and a 9 on the right side then i look at the degrees 78 72 164 46 72 and, and we have a match as well and so these are um, appear to be congruent um, but what I want you to notice is one thing, and this kind of confuses students. I want you to do something for me. I want you to start at on the left side where it says eight feet between the A and the B. Okay. And I want you to uh, name all of the sides going clockwise around the shape. So eight feet, 16 feet, 10 feet, and nine feet. Eight, 16, 10, and nine. Now I want you to do the same thing on the right side. 8, 16, 10, and 9. Do you notice these are going counterclockwise? Well, what happened is the, this is a reflection, and reflections are congruent. They might be mirror images of each other or opposite, but all of their corresponding sides match. They are congruent. And so reflections are congruent. Now, before we go, a few things that I want you to look for. Are all of the sides and the angles the same? That's a question you want to ask yourself. That's just something that makes congruent shapes congruent. Now, if one or more of those parts don't match, any of them, angles or sides, it's an absolute no. They are not congruent. Always remember that reflections are congruent. It might confuse you sometimes because they're not going in the same direction, but if they have the same corresponding parts congruent, then they are. And finally, don't forget about rectangles. Sometimes you don't have all the information that appears to be congruent, but when you know that rectangles have opposite same sides, that will give you a clue that you have congruent shapes. Well, there you have it. You just learned how to... Uh, identify if two shapes were congruent or not. I always encourage you to uh, review the video again, pause if you need to, to really understand the concept. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.